So I finally got the plates on this car and the registration and everything's complete. So it's officially my car. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a quick intro video on this. Um, this beautiful uh, deep sea blue metallic 335XI and stuff I've done to it in the two weeks I've been driving it. So the deep sea blue metallic is a really nice paint that looks bright blue on the direct like sunlight, like bright sun. At nighttime it looks black and anywhere in between it looks like a navy blue to like um, a, a darkish blue. But it's a nice bright blue. I really like that color. So going around, you have the LCI updated headlights and um, front grille is a little different than the older E90s. Now I've been getting a leaking coolant on this car, not coolant, but the headlight washers have been leaking on the side already. So this you, I just realized, um, so when I park after a while, I get like a, maybe a dime or quarter size spot of, of blue liquid on the ground right below this um, uh, fog lamp right here. And it's uh, one of the pumps is leaking. Um, wash of fluid. Now it's blue just like coolant so I, at first I thought it was coolant but then coolant when it leaks is hot. Wash of fluid if it leaks is cold so just keep that in mind. So we have the um, 17 style 284s which is the original um, factory rims that come with the uh, 335XIs and I was initially going to get the M Sport 18 inch rims which is staggered 8 in the front and 8.5 in the back but because these Continental Pro SSR run flats are really harsh really hard it's almost like skateboard plastic wheels when you um, go into a pothole or rough road it feels like the car is gonna I'm, I'll be replacing basically everything from the tire up suspension shocks everything so I figured I'm just gonna invest that money into get instead of getting rims just get better tires I'm gonna just um, get Continental DWS 06 which is a softer um, tire so it drives much much smoother much softer and it lasts much longer than the run flats. I'm not a fan of run flats. Um, my first set of run flats and they're really like everyone says they're really harsh, really hard and I think they might be hard in the rest of the car if I were to keep these on there especially with New York City roads. You can't have run flats in New York City roads or, or upstate New York roads. Coming alongside the side. So I'm gonna just get rid of these um, tires. Keep the rims. I like the rims. They've grown on me so they're 17s and 8 all around for the all-wheel drive so I don't mind. You have the updated tail lights in the back, um, 335i. This car, for some reason, the previous owner, I believe, debadged it because there's no X drive in the logo in the front that goes right below that side marker lamp. There, and the deep sea blue metallic is a really nice paint. I really like that, that paint. And one of the first things I did was code the key for a convenience feature. Not comfort access, but convenience feature. So when I step back so you guys could see, when I unlock the car, I get um, the mirrors pulled out and the fog lights come on as well as the angel eyes our daytime running lamp uh, the rings come out come on for me also could put the windows up and down with the hole in the key and a lot of BMWs do this um, it's a sort of a hidden feature but you could also code it on um, a BMW that doesn't have it so you can put the windows up and down with the, just the key and here's the key fob for the E90 it's electronic but what I like about this key you could replace the battery you could just go to like a watch shop and replace the battery instead of going to the dealership the E46 key key you had to replace the whole key and it was about 160 to 200 dollars here you could just go to a watch shop and buy a five dollar battery that goes in there and then the owner's manual actually shows you how to replace the key so let's go inside the cabin so the mirrors also unfold which is kind of cool I coded that that's not a standard feature and this car does not have the comfort access which would um, allow me to open the car without taking the key out. Not open the car without taking my, the key out of my pocket. I do have to unlock it with the key. And it also has um, lights, uh, the lighting package. So little lights come on all around the car, which is kind of cool. LED lights. So the trunk in this car is much bigger than my E46 car. There's no toolkit that used to be up here. I do have that opening thing. I have the Z4 wheel that I installed, but I removed this wheel. See my other videos for details on that. Baby and board for outside. The toolkit in this car is really, BMW went budget on the toolkit. Normally, when you get these cars CPO pre-owned or used, all the tools are missing, but so. But normally it's only a screwdriver and the um, Allen wrench for the sunroof, emergency um, close. But there's not a lot of tools in this car compared to the E46 where it was a nice, so a nice um, a variety of tools to choose from. This has the fold down rear seats in the back as well as the ski pass through. There's not much in the trunk to speak of. There's no spare under there. I have my umbrella and um, 
a cleaner for the window as well as a funnel for the engine and an umbrella um, and owner's manuals in there and here I don't know what's underneath there but I think it's some electronic stuff for the um, oh the amplifier I believe for the um, sound system. close that back and that's the trunk and this trunk is one of the worst trunks I've ever had even my E36 the trunk pop this trunk it just does that and you still have to open it so I hate that it doesn't pop which is what I wanted it to which I, is what I would like so coming in the back of the car I've already updated the um, panel to have the net for this you have to replace the whole back panel just to get the net pocket BMW deleted the net pocket in the 2010 to uh, I guess 2011 model year for the three e 90 so to get this out or buy the panels just for the net and then replacing it it's really easy it's not hard to do it's two uh two plugs at the bottom you take those plugs out and then the whole thing slides out and you slide the new one in and plug it back up the plugs are used once only so you have to buy new plugs whenever you replace these back um seat backs and then back here we have the uh oyster leather um interior with the black carpet and uh, sort of a gray headline i'm not sure it's a grayish headliner. The rear window for is an issue because sunlight comes in on my daughter when she's in the back here. So I'm gonna have to do a sort of a rear sunshade, some sort of modification back here. But the issue for the driver in the rear window is really sloped compared to E46 or older three series. It's very sloped to give the car more aerodynamics. But um, from the driver's perspective, it's kind of hard to see out of this back window, especially when you're parking. So cars like this definitely needs parking. Um, parking sensor, some sort of backup camera system, which is something I'm also gonna have to maybe install at some point. Inside, I have the Z4 steering wheel, the new one, the one with the DCT style plus negative paddles. I didn't do much to the um, dash so far. What it is, uh, other than upgrading the steering wheel as well. Um, really like this interior. It's grown in me a little bit. Um, sunroof is really big. I'm a sunroof guy, but the E90 sunroof is much bigger than the E46 sunroof or the older 3 Series. So it's a nice update in the sunroof as well. And the headrests, they don't really come all the way down. So I have this one up. Really nice. I like this leather. It's a white leather, but if you treat it, I have this treated with Meguiar's leather um, treatment. So the blue from the, um, the denim jeans that I wear, my wife wears. It is not gonna get in the leather um, like if I didn't have a treater or some other leathers where the blue just transfers right to the leather from your jeans to the leather um, but BMW I find their leather is to be very very much more stain resistant than all the cars especially my wife's Mercedes her leather gets blue immediately if you sit in it and that's all for the back I was gonna do the happy robot I'm thinking of doing the happy robot modification back here just to have uh, the power outlets and, and little cubby draw the whole stuff so BMW also deleted the cubby draw <laughs> or ashtray or whatever was back here and the power outlets that you see back here in the earlier E90s. This late model E90 does not have anything back here other than this and a vents for the backseat passengers. And um, yeah, so I just was maybe going to do that. But parts are a little expensive. Like I think that's about $100 to $200 to replace that. And the reason I got the E90 is because the airbag system is a little bit more substantial in the back, especially for an infant in a car seat. Let's move into the passenger seat. And I really like the black and white leather. It's a nice contrast. And a lot more room in this car. These are not cup holders. It's really funny what BMW has done. But the cup holders over the years, I guess it's almost as a joke towards Americans that complain that the cars did not have cup holders in the past. So basically I have my Starbucks here and this is a venti cup or a large cup or whatever you call it. The minute you accelerate, this happens. And if you have coffee filled to the top, as you see there, it spill, spills all over the place. So and it basically doesn't fit anything larger than that. So these are not cup holders. Do not use these for cup holders. And worse even is that there's not even a lot of flat spaces around the cabin. To put a cup down or something down that you have, like a beverage. You have the cubby holder drawer with uh, I have my adapter cable. It does not work with the iPhone 6S. It only works with the iPhone 5 and I believe the 6, maybe an early iPhone 6, this um, lightning pin. The aux input works, but the, I can't get this to charge my iPhone for the life of me. It just 
plugs in and the iPhone doesn't recognize it or the car doesn't recognize the iPhone. I have coins in there. This, I always thought this was a vent system like air conditioning for the glove box area, for the um, armrest area, but it's not, it's a coin holder. I did not know that. I thought it was like a ventilation system for the, um, to keep your contents in here cool, but it's not, it's just a coin holder. So if you ever see a car, any 9 with slits and you think it's a vent or maybe a, B, a BMW I'm thinking, it's not a vent system for this cubby. It's just uh, coin holders. And, and you know, you have, I'm sorry, you also have the only power outlet in this car is in here, as well as a USB and aux in that goes with this expensive cable. If I lose this, BMW I think wants 30 to $50 for this cable. So don't lose the cables. So that's it. This is the only power outlet in this car that I could find. And in the glove box, there is another, uh, USB, but it's not a power outlet, it's just for updating the navigation software. Give you a trunk lock, trunk lock latch for valet parking and such, manual and glove box. Another cup holder over here that's also retarded because, not to use that word in a bad way, but it just makes no sense because, um, I can, you know, I kind of like it in a way because the cup sits eye level, so it's easy to grab your beverage and drink. But when you accelerate, it just spills all over your passenger. And if you have a hot drink, you might get sued if your passenger gets burnt. So just keep that in mind. Um, with uh, beverages. Now let's go to the, the, main, the main course, the driver's seat. And I already upgraded the rear Euro, Euro Fox. I have two fog systems here. Uh, it has this for the halogen lamps for the leveling, but it just looks cool. It all lights up at night. Uh, on the door, we have the power folding switch. Um, window buttons have moved to the middle from the previous generation where they used to be over here. Um, I think simply because of the iDrive. I think iDrive or whatever BMW is doing here, they needed this space for the iDrive. So let me turn this down because YouTube will <laughs> delete my video if I have um, copyright infringement stuff. So I have this um, steering wheel, which is much more sporty than a stock big wheel. And it's a 14 inch diameter Z4 E889 platform wheel from, this one came from a 2014 Z4. The one that you saw in my trunk came from a 2011 Z4, which had the uh, SMG style paddles. This has the DCT style plus negative paddles. And you know, fog light switch updated for Euro fogged. And what else did I do? I want to get the limited edition start stop button. So that's something I'm going to order. It's about $70 in ECS tuning, but I'm going to wait to order that. And um, hill descent button. I wish BMWs made better use of this space. There's only one button there. And I never really use it. I don't think anyone uses a hill descent button unless you live in Colorado and you come in the mountains in this car. But, you know, not much else to say here. You have the open sunglass holder, which I was going to modify with the previous style where it has a lid and it closed that a wood lid that matched the wood interior. This is the burl walnut trim wood. But I'm gonna leave it because my iPhone fits right in there and my iPhone works with the Bluetooth so it's easier to see the phone instead of having a lid there. The only thing is with this being open, it gets a lot of dust in there, especially if you armor all or detail your car with armor all, the greasy stuff, be careful because it will pick up a lot of dust in there. So let's start this guy up. See all the dash lights that come on and disappear and that seatbelt gong is annoying. It comes on every time. So I'm gonna just buckle up and let's take this guy for a test drive. And the N55 engine, which this car uses, is really, I didn't even go under the hood to show you guys the engine, but you guys can Google pictures of the engine and see for yourself. So I'm just gonna drive back home in North Yonkers here in Westchester. And um, show you guys the acceleration is 5.4, I believe, in this car for the all wheel drive. My E46 was about 5.9, so mm, you don't really notice the difference in acceleration or performance but this car what i like about this car it does have a nice uh cruising kind of filter when you're in a highway and you're going like 60 50 60 it holds the speed very well i'm not sure if that's because of the uh the guy almost came out on me <laughs> i'm not sure because if that's because of the if that's because of the run flat tires being really hard and not soft in any way i'm not sure if that's helping the rolling kind of resistance of this car when you're cruising above 50 miles on the highway but it feels really good i'm just gonna speed i don't think the cops are out today it's sunday morning you feel feel a shut of this car every time i go into like a little divot and this road is pretty new and pretty smooth 
But every time I go into like a little dip, you see how smooth the road is? And when I get to um, sort of the urban kind of part of this, you'll, you'll feel how rough the tires are on, on just the driver and the suspension. So it's a nice pickup. I'm gonna accelerate so you guys can hear that engine. So I'm coming into, the road is gonna be older here and rougher, so you guys can feel how hard these tires are. And why I have to get rid of this tire. And they're also loud as well. So I'm going to slow down. So you guys see the road and just feel. I'm just going to let go of the steering wheel and let you guys feel how how hard this tire is. Going to this hole. That's like every time. <laughs> so it's just the whole car shudders. And I kind of don't like that. And I feel like if I keep these tires, I will be replacing like everything on this car. nice parking spot right there I'll get that all right guys so that's it for um this video it's a little squirrel crossing over. how cute is that <laughs> it's a good day and someone just took that parking spot I was gonna get so anyway that's it for um, my e90 intro I definitely need a backup camera and um, let me get out of the road here while I finish the video definitely need a backup camera on this car something I definitely need for parking because looking out that rear view mirror of the back window is just like a narrow slit it's really hard to see look at the car behind me I can't really see that car so a backup camera on the E9 I know if you're shopping for a used one make sure it has a backup camera or it's really hard to install a backup camera in this car because the navigation system requires a lot of coding and such and there's only one kit I've seen online for $600 and you have to get it coded after you spend the whole day ripping up your car from back to front installing that kit. I might do parking sensors. You could also do the Wi-Fi backup cam if you're interested in, in that, but um, which might be cheaper, but it wouldn't look as aesthetic. There'll be a lot of wires around your dash and so, and so forth. Um, now, one thing I'm gonna say before I leave, a negative is BMW has went cheap on this car. And turn the engine off so you guys can hear. So my parking handle, it's a little loose and that's not even like from wear and tear that's just from factory and the pedal is really loose as well <laughs> it's just like cheapness like in the quality that my e46 did not have so some um, little niggles like the door handle wiggles as well and that's not even wear and tear that's just factory like like cheapness I think you know so uh, it's not um, it's, I think BMW cut corners a lot in the E90 coming from the E46 which was a, a solid car inside and out in terms of the quality of the materials here you just have little niggles as well I'm gonna show you guys the wiper arms this is the icing on the cake how cheap how cheap BMW has went here these wiper arms are cheapest cheapest things I've ever seen look how thin that is and I was in the car wash, a hand car wash, and these, one of the wiper blades actually came off in the car wash. As the guy was washing the car, it just came off, and he looked at me, and he laughed. He was like, yeah. He didn't even put it back on. He just left it right in there. So, cheap wiper arms, very cheap wiper arms. I've never seen wiper arms as cheap as that. And I, I used to have a Dodge Neon <laughs> that had better wiper arms than that, and the wiper arms are really cheap. I mean, they work well, but it's just, they're really cheap. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Look forward for more modifications. I have the limited edition button I want to put on there, as well as a rear sunshade system. I want to modify that, a rear camera. This is something I'm looking at as well. So look out for more modifications coming and more BMW videos, as promised. So as the weather gets warmer, I'll be um, putting out more videos and content. Thank you, guys. Bye.